just go back over that just to very briefly what we do. We're a reading defense, and, and so what I'm going to be talking about this session is what we, this is defense against the run is, is what this is supposed to be talking about, and, I, and, and drills that we use in, in uh, teaching our guys how to play the proper techniques or what we think are the proper techniques in our defense. And uh, as I said earlier, we're a, an eagle defense, and you know this is our basic alignments. Do what? I don't know much about that kind of stuff. Thanks. And uh, as I told you, t said earlier today, this is this is really this this front and this this one down here is is primarily the fronts that we run. We will get into a 54 eye look, which basically moving this guy from a, a a seven to a nine, and this one from a three technique to a four eye, and everybody else is pretty much the same. And uh, we will play this guy in a one technique and move him in here into one technique and that's that's pretty much it as far as the way we align. Uh, we do again uh, like to read at all times if, if possible. There's a few situations or some teams that we feel like we have to to play up the field uh, and we do work on on those things and, and we have drills that we do to work on that but again this uh, session is defensive drills uh, against the run or for teaching them to play against the run. Okay. And fellas, let me say this. I'm not a guy that uh, believes in doing a lot of fancy drills and things that uh, using a lot of equipment. We don't do any agility drills. Uh, as such, I, I, when I'm doing a drill, it's it's uh, position specific. It's something that's going to help make me a better player or make my guys a better player uh, at their position. Uh, uh, all that stuff about developing quickness and and speed and, and agility and all that, we're going to do do that kind of stuff in the off season. And uh, we don't spend time during football practice on those kind of, kind of things. The closest thing that we get to an agility drill is when we're doing our stretching and we kind of incorporate into that is we do some high knees and some extended strides and, and things like that. Uh, our defensive backs will back pedal, do back pedal drills and, and some things and we'll, uh, but you won't see, if you come to one of our practices, you're not going to see us doing things like uh, uh, bear crawling and Dipsy Doodle and, and forward rolls and, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I, it's not anything that I have against it. It's just I, I want to use our time teaching them how to play the position. And so that's what we're going to do. Use very, like I said, we, we don't have a lot of uh, machines and, and that type of thing either. One, but this first thing is one of the things that we do use. Uh, it's the post drill. I don't have any better name for it than that. Uh, we've got some, y'all seen them, the posts are in the ground, uh, they, they're padded, they've got, uh, you can hit them like a, look like a sled, but it's just on a, on a post and you can, uh, you can hit them and they'll, they'll collapse or they'll pop up, both, both things. I mean, you can drive them up like this or you can hit them and they just, uh, collapse and, and uh, that's what I'm talking about on the post drill. You can do the same thing with the with a sled. What I like about them is, is we can release off of them uh, and go through them. There's nothing in between. I've got, a, I've got uh, three posts lined up together and we've got them on a uh, next to some asphalt. Uh, it'd be better if it was turf or something like that but uh, the asphalt seems to work all right, so we don't have to worry about digging holes in the ground because they're, in the, you know, they're, they're stationary, they're in one spot. I've seen them with rubber mats out in front of them. But this is, this is something that we do every day. 
and we begin practice with, uh, with our defensive linemen. Um, are you, are, is everybody familiar with what I'm talking about? I mean, like I said, you could do the same thing with a sled. Uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't have to be one of these posts. But what, what we're trying to do with this is uh, develop a proper step, hand placement. Should be hand placement, not hand common, but hand placement and uh, body position. Now, what we're looking for when I'm talking about a step with my defensive lineman, in this situation, uh, they're not reading anything. Uh, but I'm, uh, I think that we can still develop these things. When I'm talking about a step, I'm talking about a four or five inch step. Uh, and again, when I say one step, you, you might as well say two, because when you take one, you've got to bring the other one. We always want to keep a base. So we're talking a four or five inch step. Uh, and we're, I'm looking to see them shoot their hands with elbows in, thumbs up, palms out. This, this position right here into the pad. Uh, and also, uh, five inch step, two steps, I mentioned that. Elbows in, thumbs up, palms out. Uh, and then I want them to be, the body position, I want them to be low and extended. The key to me to staying low is to keep your body extended. Uh, what what we will do at a lot of times, and see if I can get this thing going. Um, I'm not a very good artist, but if we've got we've got a post here, here, and here, or it could be a sled. We'll at times put dummies. If you can visualize a say a, a five foot long dummy, flat dummy. And our feet will be behind this dummy. Our hands may be on the dummy or in front of the dummy in our stance. So there, I'm down in the stance and there's a dummy down here uh, underneath me. And I, I said I want to keep our body extended. So when we step and extend into the pad, we want our feet to stay behind that dummy. So, so we'll line up, here's the pad, here's our feet, our hands out here, I still haven't got that drawn the way I want it, our feet be like this, we'll, we'll line up to the, say, shaded to the right of that thing, and when we step, we're stepping in this direction and extending our body into that, uh, to that bag or that post. And, and our feet should stay behind that dummy. And the only purpose of that dummy laying on the ground is to make sure that we're keeping our body extended. And if we do that, then that's going to help us. That's going to make us stay low. If not helps, it'll make us stay low. So those are the things that I'm looking at in this drill. Proper step, are they taking a step that's too big, too, too wide? Uh, you, you'll almost never have them take a step that's too short because we're just talking four or five inch step. Uh, I'm looking at that, a am I, uh, first we'll start with stance. Are, are they in a good stance when they get down there? Now, do they take, take a good step? Or do they have proper hand placement? Uh, are they staying extended? If they're not staying extended, then, then we'll put the bags in there to help on that part of it. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do here is uh, we want to make sure that we're developing explosion. Now, these guys can, they can feel you when you're doing these types of things. They can make that pad pop and not really hit it. So I'm looking to see, see is, is, there, is there any movement there when they're hitting the thing? I want to, I want to see some movement uh, in the pad. Uh, then, then after we, from there, the next thing I'm looking at is uh, develop release. How are they going to come? They're going to hit it. Then what are we going to do? Uh, so I'm looking to see if their feet are moving. Then we're going to rip and swim off of it, and we work on both. Uh, I'll tell them uh, that we're going to, uh, 
which one we're going to use. And, and we'll go through it two or three times, using the rip one time, using the swim the next time. And then I'm looking to see if they're going to accelerate. Uh, the way I have these things set up, what we, what we will do, I've got three of them, like I said, and we'll be lined up in threes. Oh, that's not very good. And so we've got, we've got a guy here, a guy here, and a guy here. Uh, and, and I'll be standing down here. So the first thing we're going to do, and, and we, I change up where I am. Sometimes I'll have a, a cone there, and, and I'll be back behind them or whatever. But uh, I'll just get up there, and I'll say, all right, we're going to step left, or shade right, step left. They step left and they hit, feet are moving, and then I give them the command and they're all going to release in whatever way I have them release and they're going to sprint by this direction. And then we'll do it going right. Then we'll come up and I'll say, all right, we're going to, we're going to uh, rip, we're going to shade right, and then we're going to rip to our left. And so we'll hit and we'll come off this way and accelerate by a cone and hit and come off. Hit. They're all coming off at the same time, accelerating by a cone. And I've got them just lined up back there, and it's a pretty rapid thing. And then we do the same thing going the other direction, and then we'll do it to swim. Uh, this is the good thing about the post as opposed to a sled, uh, because you can go through. And uh, then you can also incorporate pass rush techniques with that. You're hitting, you're stepping and hitting and s swimming and ripping. Uh, so that's kind of what we do with those. Now, uh, we also, uh, this is a little bit different drill, but it's the bas same basically basic philosophy. That's all we do with the posts. Uh, we, uh, we've also got a, we've got a five-man sled. That you can't you can't go through, but it's one of those things that has a has a bar right out here, and and it helps keep them low. And 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 we'll we'll go through this thing again. We're working on the same things. We're we're looking at uh, hand placement. We're looking at feet. Uh, are they stepping? Are they are they bringing both feet? Uh, are they staying extended? Uh, are they getting any explosion? And we'll do this lined up. We'll go through one at a time, going all the way down the thing, and the only time we get to see the release is off the end one. Uh, and then, of course, we'll come back the other direction. Uh, but we're looking for all those, those same things that we're looking at in the post, we're looking at on this thing. Uh, we'll also place the bags underneath this thing, and... Uh, they have to stay extended all the way down, and that's a little bit tougher for them to do. Uh, the big key here is if we're shaded right at the beginning, we want to. They want to be shaded right every time before they hit. They're going to get back in their stance and step and hit all the way down. If we want to make it real rapid, we'll just have them just go right on down hitting. But basically, we want to get down the stance every time and hit. Uh, then from there, we'll go with three of them, and we'll go uh, right and left. They'll hit and they'll do the same thing and extend off, and they'll do the same thing there. Uh, we'll, not. I'm sorry, two. We won't have. We'll just have one here and one, one here. They'll hit, hit and off, hit, hit and off, and that you get more reps that way. And we'll have people lined up behind them. Any questions there on on that? That's ba that's basically the same thing out of both of them. We do both of those things just about every day. Uh, because if you're in a reading defense, again, this is not something where you're uh, you're getting to read anything, but you are working on uh, your your footwork, your body position, your explosion, your hand placement, all those things that are necessary. And you've got to be in when you're playing a reading defense, as opposed to uh, a react and read or re uh, attack and react type thing or up the field defense, you've got to be a little bit more sound fundamentally as far as your uh, 
some of the things you do, I think. And so this gives you an opportunity to work on that. Any, any questions? There? That's just to get our pads loose, basically. We do that every day, and we do it with our guys about a foot apart because our guys are usually pretty big and pretty strong, and we're not, all we're doing is just working on form. We're right here as, as close as this, as I am to this chair, and, and they're just stepping and forming up and running them back and exploding into them. Uh, that's, like I said, that's just loosening them up to make sure they've got good form and that type of thing. And we'll do that about every day. But this is one that we use that I think incorporates what we're trying to do with our defense. Uh, it's two-on-one tackle, and what we're trying to get out of this, uh, our objective is to develop a proper step, hand placement, and body position. Again, back to the same things that we were doing on the post or the sled. Uh, to develop explosion, still the same thing. Develop release, the same thing. We're looking at for these things. That, and the only thing that's added that's different than what we were doing on, those, on the uh, post or sled is uh, proper tackling technique. Now, what, what we're doing here, if I can draw this up, we'll have uh, an offensive lineman. I put them in groups of three. And, and we'll, I'll just have them spread out down the field like that in groups of three. This is, this is a defensive guy. And we know everybody, they're all, all of them are coming this way. And we'll do it one at a time, but I mean, I'm telling them which way they're going. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, everybody, I mean, everybody knows what's happening. So I'm, uh, he's just going to fire off as hard as he can right here, just firing off straight, not really trying to block him. He's just going to step in and hit him, just like he does the post. He's going to step into it. We're just getting some some live bodies in this. Uh, and after the, he sees collision, then he's coming. He's not try, we're not trying to make this difficult from the standpoint of this guy just running off and seeing how ho good a job he can do of blocking. We're working on releasing off the block and making releasing off the block and making a tackle is what we're doing. We're not trying to see if this guy is tougher than that guy or anything like that, or if this guy can run over that guy. I do want him to come with some force, but he's, you know, it's not one of these deals where he's going to lower his shoulders. He's going to run in there upright, and he's, he's going to run where this guy can get to him. So what we're doing, and I have to set them off on this drill because we've got three people involved, and I want them all to be at the, going at the same time. Uh, we're doing exactly what we did on the post. We're going to step hit, and then we're going to rip or swim, release off of him some way with, with technique and come off and make a form tackle. It's that simple. We'll do it going right, we'll do it going left. The big thing is, is that we, we don't want this guy to jump around him right there. We want him to step and hit him. We want this offensive guy to come off with some punch. So we want to step and hit and, ha and have, let that guy have position on us. So we can work on, on releasing off that block on us. So we can work on, on releasing off that block. And uh, it's a good, it, I think it's a good thing. Uh, like I said, you don't get a lot of opportunities as a defensive lineman in practice to, to work on, on releasing off the block and making a tackle. Uh, you get over there when, uh, I know us, we get against our scout team, uh, we might we can go full full go, full speed, and those guys are not going to give us any kind of look. Uh, this uh, defensive tackle blocking on this defensive tackle in this drill, they'll get a better look as to what they'll see uh, in a controlled situation than we will when we go to team and go against our scout team. Um, so. Just trying to put them in a situation where they're still working on the same things that we were working on a while ago. Getting more reps and then adding the tackling technique. And then adding the tackling technique 
releasing off and doing something after we release. And uh, it's pretty good for us. Okay, one-on-one -on -one reaction. The objective here is to develop proper technique when reacting to designated one-on-one -on -one blocks. In other words, I, when I say designate, I'm telling them, you're going to get the reach. You're going to get the reach. You're going to get the inside release. We're going to react on movement. They know what the block is. The offensive guy knows they know what the block is. The only thing that they don't know is the snap count. He's going, I'm going to have him down there, and I'll go hit, 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 and he just moves whenever he gets ready. All right. What we're going to, we're going to place our emphasis on all areas of technique here. And we're going to look at the hand placement. We're going to look at, the, are they stepping? Are they, uh, are they uh, staying extended? Are they pressing them out? They know what the block's going to be. Like I said, the only thing they don't know is when it's going to take place. Obviously, uh, I'm, as the season goes on, I'll have to be doing this less. Have to be doing this less than I will be early in the season. When we start out, we're going to be doing a lot of this. We're going to say, all right. We're going we're gonna to work on the reach. We'll be lined up. We may have three up lines. We may have two lines, whatever it is. We've got a guy here, we got a guy here, and we got a guy here. Depending on how fast, I may go one here, 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 so that we're working on the reach. I may go to this line, and then to this line, this and this line, or I may tell them all three to go at the same time, and I stand in here just trying to get reps. Uh, and, and, of course, this guy would go from being the offensive player to defensive player, and he goes to the end of the line. We just keep going. Uh, I'll probably start off going one line. Maybe that afternoon in two days I'll go all Maybe that afternoon in two days I'll go all three of them going just to get reps because I've already coached each person down the line two or three times on each block. But, again, this is a, uh, it's, it's one-on-one, -on -one. they're getting to read even, no, even though they know what it's going to be. But if you're going to get into teaching a reading type defense, you've got to be very patient and you've got to start with the basics. You can't just get out there and say, all right, we're going to read. I want you to do what he's going to, you know, read. I want you to do what he's going to, you know, go with his head. Now, you hear all kinds of terms, step with, his, with your key, uh, take your head and hands at the key, and your feet are going to fall, all those types. But saying it and doing it are two different things. So you've got to put them in a situation where they, where they, can, where they can learn, and that's why I'm saying I'm going to get here, and I'm going to say, all right, we're working on the reach, and we know he's coming here, and you know you're going to be stepping that way, and the only thing that they don't know is when he's going to move. And so we're looking, at the, we're looking at the hand placement, we're looking at the feet, his head, his, uh, his body extension, all those things we're going to emphasize. Any, any questions about that? Okay. The next step, and fellas, this is, this is, the, this is all the drills that we do that have to do with run. I mean, this is, this is it. We don't... I mean, this is this is it. We don't we don't have anything else. Uh, if you're going to teach your people to read, this is what you got to spend your time on, and it's boring. If if you're one of these guys that's got to see things happening all the time out there in practice, and people banging heads and p moving quick and 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 all that, uh, if you're teaching your defensive lineman to to read or play a reading defense. You're going to have a lot of this. Hit, coach him a little bit, and go to the next guy. Hit, and just have him, I mean, just, it's going to be, it's going to be about that exciting. 
uh, you know, you can say, all right, you're stepping under, you got to get your hands, you know, that's about, that's about it, because you just got to get repetition, repetition. You can't spend a lot of time, so you, uh, uh, it's, that's probably one of the reasons that a lot of people don't do it anymore. That's probably one of the reasons that a lot of people don't do it anymore, uh, because there's not a lot of contact, there's not a lot of fast stuff going on, there's lots of time, there's a lot of uh, mistakes out there in practice. People stepping the wrong way or not stepping, you get upset, and, and uh, people don't have the patience to teach it. Okay, uh, the next thing we'll go to is one-on-one -on -one read. Develop the proper technique when reading, reacting, one-on-one -on -one block. The same thing that we were just doing, except now they don't know. Uh, Offensive the player is going to determine the s snap. The offensive player is going to determine the block. And by that I mean I'm giving him, I'm giving him, I'm saying, well, all right, you got three choices. The offensive guy, when you get up here, you're either going to reach him or hook him. You're going to base block, you're going to inside release. I may add one or two others in there sometimes, but that's basically it. I'm going to say you're going to do one of those three things. I mean, I don't have to tell him which one to do. He can do one of those three things. And so what I'm saying, I'm going from group to group. I'm sitting here, and, and all i got to do is call a snap count, and he's going to block. And I, I'm smart enough to see which one he did and whether the guy did it right or not. And so I can uh, coach that, and I just go on the next. In, instead of getting up here and saying, all right, you go inside, you know, in here, and then over here you're doing this. Uh, they, uh, they, 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 they can do one of those three, and uh, and I can go to the next line. So this again, we're working on the same things that we were doing. Now we just added the the toughest thing. We're going to read it. The toughest thing. We're going to read it. Okay. Uh, any questions there? Yes. 